since I've been to a Walmart, so I'm just gonna get a scope and what's, uh, what's going on in the Lego aisle. Menards. Yeah, yeah, they have Lego books, huh? Yeah. yeah, this one would not buy this for the price. Twenty-two bucks, but it's 2018. And then they have two of these. 2017. All right, I already parted these out at the end of the last video and here we are Friday morning uh, I gotta get these put away and see what we have sold I think it's a lot I'm not really sure I just remember a lot of things going on in my phone yesterday let's check it out all right we have it all put away it was 2400 parts we just added and let's see how many we can take take back away all right now it's time to check what we have for what we sold uh, let's see one two three four five six seven bricklink orders here oh the top one is a big one 237 lots so they're all pretty pretty healthy 87 lots is that top one, so I like that. Only 110 items. That must be all minifig stuff. Because that is a lot of money for 87 lots, 110 total items. <laughs> uh, Brick Owl. Whoa. Well, it looks like eight of these. So we have Brick Owl beat Brick Link. That's rare. It's been very rare for that to happen. So let's check the totals here. We have only a hundred lots, so I mean, I say it beat it, but the value here, $86 is or plus 28 for shipping, definitely does not beat Bricklink, but the total number of orders does, so there's that, and eBay, pretty healthy for a Friday morning, that's, I'm, <laughs> from what I've been getting lately, that's actually pretty good. So let's get to work. Alright, eBay is done. And I did get one more Bricklink order while I was before I was done with eBay and I just printed these out. So we have eight on eight, eight brick all, eight bricklink to do. And then I didn't do the mail time yesterday for Thursday. So we have two bricklink orders. I have nothing of buying on eBay. I'm sticking to that for the month of August at least. And they try to give me eBay bucks to get a deal, but I I refused. Um, so this is the order, I think it's 124 from the same store that I go to all the time. Um, it's strange, uh, they didn't use priority mail shipping stuff, for sh and shipping it first class, that's, that's weird. They use real bags, they usually put everything inside of those inside of this bag. <laughs> um, so I got a bunch of parts I needed. 
good stuff in there. I just have those on my list all the time because that Alien Commander from uh, the Alien Conquest, good one to have. And then uh, I came to this store because I was really low on these clone heads. And then, then I left with a bunch of new friends. We had all the friends for three fifty, except one was four dollars, I think. But got a couple other parts, so there's mail time now. I have to get my first cup of coffee for the day. I've been up for an hour and a half, feeling it. There's the first brick owl order. Four pieces, and three of them came from the uh, build uh, uh, the the duffel bag. So. Everything but that used piece. And here is the second Brick Link order. Brick Owl order. <laughs> I hate saying that. 24 of those. Apparently, I had 25. So, anything that has room, I can have definitely put different parts in there and divide it. So, it goes in backward like all these other ones that you see. I did, I've done really good the last two weeks getting things turned around. That duffel bag full of minifig parts really helped. Um, and that other wall behind me does not have very many at all. The, this one here. But they're getting more after I pull these orders. There'll be more. <laughs> Somebody ordered nine of these. Plate 2x2 two two round with rounded bottom. Two, four, six, eight. Uh-oh. I remember putting one in my... Uh, my bin here, and I have change in there now for refunds. So, missing piece. The missing piece has been found. The brick owl is all set. I felt like I was not going very fast today. <laughs> it's Friday, I don't feel like working. Um, so we have 18 lots in the first one. Let's uh, get on the brick link. That day I spent uploading Bionicle stuff a few weeks ago is continuing to pay off. I'm happy to see these two uh, sales that I found recently in some bulk Lego are finding a new home get repurposed to help the rebuild a set or a ship or something. Here's the rest of the order. We got Pirate Boy. Alright, here's uh, second to last order. I already packed up the last one because I want to do a time lapse on this one, I think. I'm going to have it set up and we'll see if it gets in this video. <laughs> 87 lots, 110 items. And they did leave a note here. It says, fan of the YouTube channel. I had to get some of those new minifig items. Best of luck to you and your business. Thank you very much for supporting us. Very awesome. So, I have a... Uh, just started recording on this thing. Got it nicely set up here. Hopefully get everything that I'm doing in there. And let's go. We'll time this out. 841. Just pulled the first pieces. Alright, there it is. 87 lots. And it is uh, 8.53. Did that take 12 minutes? Is it 41 after when I started? 8.41? So easy when you pick parts. They're so fast. Thank you again for the order. This is a great order. Lots and lots of heads. Pretty much 80% of the new stuff here was stuff I got off of the duffel bag. So, very nice. All right, there you have it. 16 uh, Brick Owl and Brick Link orders, eight of each. And uh, this is Friday morning, uh, August 14th. So in August 13th on Thursday morning, I had 17 total orders. So it's been a little bit of a sales boom here. And I just got another $50 order that just came in. I'm thinking about packing it. I have to look at it first. <laughs> but it's just before 9 a.m. So I'm gonna push through and get these uh, shipped 
and then eat breakfast. I'm starving. Well, I am going to pack this order. It's just two pieces. So they ordered 50 of each, so that is a nice order. So here it is on Brick Owl. Zero cost uh, bag order. I'm just going to bubble wrap these just like this, so nice order. Well, here's an update on our AC. It's old. That's not an update, but um, I had to move the new Lego sorting table out of the way. Water was coming up out of this. Um, it was also coming up all over here because it could not leave this area because this was plugged somewhere down the line that way. So we cut it there and then air compressed down it and blew everything out of it because he thinks when the Freon was low and it froze up inside of here uh, it knocked some stuff loose and got clogged somewhere down the line. And then he poured about a liter of bleach in there, or, I don't know, a pint of bleach, a quart of bleach, a quart, quart, about a quart <laughs> uh, of bleach in there instead of help clean it up better. And whatever happens again, I can just pull that off. It's not glued and do the same thing he did. And no problem, they did not charge extra to come back today. So that was, that's a bonus. So we have cool air again. So I have this package from Legoland Florida. I did not order anything from them and I saw that it is on a FedEx vehicle in Green Bay. Uh, scheduled for delivery today. So two pounds. They did the FedEx two day, so we'll see what it is when it gets here. JB Brick Fanatic found some 501st battle packs on August uh, 14th at Walmart in Indiana. I had to go on uh, my unsorted accessory shopping. I did not have the uh, scuba diving tanks. So this is something that did not get sorted or not even attempted to sort when I threw everything on the table. But we found one. So mission accomplished. And he is ready to go back up for sale. Slime face from agents. So a few weeks ago I parted out that Mindstorm. This is on the inside of this instruction that did not even have a full set of instructions, so just trashed the rest or recycled it, and I laminated this. So I don't really have anything that measures centimeters. I mean, I could have went and got something. Um, I have a I have a measuring tape if I need inches, but a lot of things are in centimeters. So let's see if I can. I'm pretty sure this was 16, but this says it's 15, so that means it's 16. Are they in centimeters? No. So, it's not the best guide, but for Technic stuff is what usually you need it for. You can match things up and measure centimeters is what I wanted it for. All right, I have this room back in order. Pretty much I even put up, I took the kids table that they spend a little bit of time down here um, and set up my uh, my four foot collapsible that I use sometimes. And I can always use it, just move the stuff off and use it for a little bit if I need to. And someone already came down and drew a picture. So, I'm excited to get this going. I'm very excited. This isn't the first box we're gonna go through because this doesn't fit my room. It's not Lego. I can put it in a different box, but that's just counterproductive. So we got some things going here. So these white ones are already sorted. They kind of need to be down sorted. I have different things I don't want mixed together in there in some of these. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that so much right now. I'm just going to uh, get going and i, uh, I got to figure out how many things I need. I don't really like using these really small ones. I want to use those that's on the second sort. I think actually this is sort uh, station one. And then literally, I just bring some of the stuff over here because I have a spot for literally everything that's one by one or two by two or one by two. Um, when it gets up to these larger bricks, they're not, this would fill up quite quickly. These are like two by four, one by four, two by three, one by three, nothing up here. And these are rare, rarely sorted up here. So I never get to this stuff, but um, We'll figure it out. It's going to take me a few weeks to really get into what works for me, but I did see the guys at Brickstore. He has a station where he just has a bunch of these, like probably like this many or more, a few more, 
where he just sorts on the table and throws them in as he goes. But I don't, I don't know if I could do that. I know pretty much where everything is here myself. Um, and I could always have anyone just do the bulk sort, you know, like different things. This is anything like jumper or tile. This is going to be, which I want to break it down. I thought anything circle, but then there's, then there's these. I think I should sort these into their own right away. There's a couple different sizes, you know, so don't know. Maybe they can go with those. That might be a better idea. I'll figure it out. Oh, my wanted list on Bricklink. I don't like it over 500. Really, low 400s is where I, where I like it to be. Where is it? What do we do? You click there, and then it should take you to another screen. Buy all. All right, I'm going through the second Bricklink order I got yesterday. Um, I was able to create this in the first one, and I had all the, all the three sets of friends. I just parted them out didn't feel like photographing them. There's a lot for sale on eBay, not for very much. And I felt parting them out was a good, maybe a, get a dollar to one to two dollar profit per minifig that I paid, so easy work. All right, that next Bricklink order was very nice. And uh, completed all these. I'm gonna relist them all here, including the ones from before, and then I gotta go check the mail. I spotted something on the porch. What is that? See it? There it is. Alright, so here's a quick closer look at this box. I'm about to film this another video, which uh, I will show you this. I'll record something after I'm done with that video on what's actually in here, but because that video will come out before you'll see you're seeing this, so um, just says Legoland Florida Retail Warehouse. I drive in Florida. Um, it was shipped today. It was actually shipped faster than my other order I actually paid for. Uh, I think I paid for like a three-day FedEx shipping. Uh, it says Tools 419. Tools 419. They say, uh, it says something on here, BAM Tools, Build a Minifig Tools. I look, try to look up these numbers on, obviously this is just a box they used, obviously. So we'll see what's inside. All right, so here is what I received. Totally, totally blown away by the generosity there. This is a, I didn't receive that guy in the middle. He just was part of a photo I was taking for in a video uh, that I might use, I don't know yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> wow. Tons of great headgear, like the good ones that I said, and plus more, some that I didn't get in the, in the other thing. Awesome animals, penguins. The penguins were the best thing in this whole thing besides these uh, magenta legs. And there was a ton of them they sent. Like they knew the ones that I really liked by the, by, by the, um, by how my video went. And they threw a lot of it in there. So got six complete chocolate bunnies plus extra ears. I think five extra pairs of ears. Six complete of these plus some extra legs six complete of this one plus extra wings and these I only got two in the duffel bag so very stoked about those those are nice ones and just wow uh, and it's funny these came in here too this I think this might have came in the same set I don't know 100% but these are from the golden weapons like 2011 or 12 I don't remember exactly what's the original Ninjago um, they do kind of look yellowed on the back in the back of the head so they might have sun on them or something I don't know but that's interesting that's really cool they threw some of that in um, and some nice accessories the animals are yeah awesome to get animals this is obviously why uh, let me show you the letter and this is I read the letter in the in the other video but this head encloses a small gift, including some extra chocolate bunny ears to show our gratitude for especially, uh, they said, I especially enjoyed the video you created on the YouTube channel. It has been shared with many of my colleagues throughout the company. The enthusiasm you had opening the bags and naming the pieces was just as exciting for us as it was for you. So yes, it was a very positive experience. Unfortunately, they're sold out. Maybe they're going to make more because of my video. I'm not sure. We'll find out if there's, a, if there's some up by, you know, early next week. They definitely probably should capitalize on that. Uh, I did get a lot of views, but who knows? Very, very, 
Very grateful. It's so awesome. Well, after all that fun, who can who can work? I got these accessories out to try to get listed, but I think I I did three things. I did this thing. Once <laughs> doing that, I just want to quit. Today was not the most productive day, but I just I gotta take more days off. Summer's going by too fast, so but we had fun. Great day. So it is four o'clock. I'm checking out. Might come back down that nah, Friday night. I'm not gonna come back down tonight. I'll come back down Saturday morning and pack up the orders. And uh, we'll see you then. I was just about to go up and I saw this and I was closing something up. I'm like, oh, what is this? Looks different. Um, it's a, it's a Lego store exclusive for the New York area, I guess. It's not really a limited edition. It was for a grand opening, but I guess they kept selling it. There's a note in Bricklink that says all this stuff. So when I talk about price to sell, when you look here, there's no price data. It's never sold. Never, ever, 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 ever sold. And here's why. America someone wants 10 bucks for a use instructions. Let's add it to the inventory. We'll do a little bit of undercutting. $2.95. There you go. Keep tabs on the vlog, see if it ever sells. Alright, Saturday morning. Back at it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Bricklink orders. One is $90. It is two items. What? I'm not sure what I have in my store worth that much. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, eBay is 24 items, and then I just I just closed my brick owl. I exited out on accident. I think it's five. Yep, five orders. Let's see what we have. 143. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we got some good stuff going on here. Let me get this uh, packed up, and I gotta edit a video. Still two videos, actually. <laughs> I didn't get to yesterday. All right, just quickly uh, made up the video of the Lego Land free gift. And now it's just before seven, and I have to do the brick link and brick owl. Here we go. All right, that first brick owl order was an absolute beast. <laughs> it's like twenty and thirty of most parts. It's only forty-three lots, but we got it done. All right, here's that two lot order we were talking about. This thing tested, works. Almost wanted to keep it. <laughs> but here it is. And then they got a motor with it. So, there it is. This one's getting special treatment for layers of bubble wrap plus. Um, I'll insure it. It's a dollar seventy for up to hundred dollars insurance, so definitely insure the this package. There it is, all packed up just after eight a.m. I'm not sure Lloyd is. Oh, look what happened! I cleaned up down here, and all of a sudden, they start wanting to play. <laughs> it wasn't that dirty anyway, but he must have got in the battle. Sorry, Lloyd. I'll. Keep a better eye on you there. You just relax. 812. Alright. Just before 9. I gotta run out soon. Um, I just do my second vlog for last week still. So I'm getting that loaded in. As you can see. And this is all I have planned for this morning. Once I get this done I'll be good until two, from 2 to 4 is when the kids get to play their video games so that's when usually I do some other things so um, not sure what I'll do maybe do some bulk used Lego sorting I might part out a set I might oh add those parts I got from Legoland Florida that's probably something I should do as you're just sitting on the table behind me so all of something well, not pretty much all sorted so let's get this done this should take me less than an hour hopefully well here is a haul is probably the best one of the summer. We're halfway through August almost, so look at that. The exclusives. And they're both here. And they're both in mint, absolute mint condition. 
my box is falling down. One way or the other. The box is not the greatest, but I don't care for boxes anyway, but there they are. And then we have a bo um, bin. Look at that old thing. It's got writing on it. Jamie's box. These all, these all look new, though. Pretty shiny pieces on top, at least. Maybe they were hardly played with. That would be pretty sweet. Um, well, this is a bag that was in here. This is a Creole box, but there is a very good set in here. A very, very good set. Well, there's some Futrons. Oh, wow, there's like four. Maybe these are the Space Police uh, two figures they're actually considered. War Machine. Is Iron Man in there? I don't see the Iron Man at the set, though. Um, but that's okay. War Machine is really good. Hoping for the Iron Man, but... Maybe he's somewhere else. So, what's in the bag? And uh, I guess I'll put it uh, straight forward. I off offered uh, 100 bucks for everything. They would only take 80 bucks for it. And you know, they, I told them that I'm probably gonna sell this for well, well over $200, um, everything here, and they didn't care. They must have got it for a really good deal. And this is the same um, person that sold me all the castle sets last year. She, she contacted me on Facebook, said, I got some more stuff, I have this set, do you want it? I'm like, yes, please. And she got it to me. There's some connects, so we don't need that. It looks like that goes to that. Maybe that instruction, so that's cool. We got some instructions to identify some of these bionicles. You know, me and my bionicle streak I have going. I have more to do now. And then, I'm not sure which character that is. For a set. Oh, this is the Monster Fighters instructions and the mummy set in there. So, nothing like it's over the top great here, but there's a. Uh, I'm sure these bion bionicles are going to part out for decent values, 10 bucks each or more. So, that's good. Look at that one. It's a yellow. Oh, it has a book in that one too. Nice. And then there's another something. So, oh. We have the Atlantis Barracuda Guardian. Whoa! Oh! The lobster! And the claws! Yes! You cannot go wrong with the lobster claws. These are worth quite a bit of money. I don't see the torso, unfortunately, but if it is cheap, I will definitely be buying it to complete this guy. Ooh, he's in mint condition. Nice. That is a great haul. Take it all in. 80 bucks. All right, I just parted out that sand green figure. Um, that torso Ben 10 guy, I don't know his name, uh, that I just got. It was just missing a couple of these barb things. And they're expensive. <laughs> the color must only come in this, so. Very nice to start out this uh, $80 haul. Well, I just learned something new. One of my, uh, someone that bought for me said I sent them a Bionicle Fist when they ordered a Hero Factory Fist. I did not know that there was any difference. So, see this one says three fingers. Search Hero Factory Fist. And you saw it right there. It has four fingers. I now know that, so I had three. I, I had three more listed. So I had, I had four total listed. They bought one. And I sent them one out of the four that was wrong. Um, so I, I pulled all the one out of the three I had left and sending that to them. So just so you know. All right, we have some uh, movement here. These uh, last last heads that I did not uh, could not find. They were not in the system. We figured that out. See the the lines in the teeth there. And just added yesterday, August 14th. Today's August 15th by Randy IPP. I think he commented on my uh, video because he said he was adding it. So there it is. Well, we made a little progress here. It's got all these and a couple of those, but I'm done. It's four, four o'clock, so I'm going to be keeping some of these, definitely. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with the rest. All right, here's your clip for Sunday to let you know I'm still alive. Uh, that is where I, what I did. One second, 
slower, or two seconds slower than my Florida time, but I ran 3.75 instead. There you go. And I'm in the basement, it's dark. It's gonna stay that way today. Well, it is Sunday here and our internet is not working, so I had to reposition this. Called them 11 a.m. and it's almost 3 p.m. They should be here in the next hour. So AC guy and the internet guy come in the same couple days. And they haven't come in here come here for pff, many, many years. Any 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 service people. Well they came um same day I called Sunday and they our modem went bad, so I have a new modem. Internet's working. It is four fifty eight AM on eBay. We have seventy five items to ship. <laughs> That's good, very good. Uh, brick link. Uh, I think this is 19. 19 items, 19 orders. Look at that number, whoa. It's quite a bit, a lot of people took advantage of free shipping as you can see. What about every other order? Something like that. And then on Brick Owl, there is 11 orders. So there's some good stuff there. Let's see. 188 lots. So we're looking at 500 lots to pick today. Wow. Better get moving. Alright. So I have everything I, I need printed for eBay right here, all the labels and all the pull sheets here, and uh, pulled everything out, the whole eBay store, except one box. I always leave this box up here because I rarely go into it, but there, I know there is some things like the, I know a few of these actually sold there, so let's get to it. I love to see all these sell through eBay, six different books. That is a bonus for me. I love them. And here's the biggest order from eBay. 18 Star Wars figures. So look at them. Some pretty nice ones. A true man of the sea. I think he's heading to Croatia. I can't <laughs> The city there, it doesn't, it's in another language. I can't really, really know for sure. I think on, on the computer it said Croatia. 6.23 a.m. eBay is ready to get taken to the post office. Oh, and I sold that last elf set out the door. So those are some good, good things. I made my first cup of coffee this morning. It's almost 6.30. So with their uh, modem going down, Seems like our, uh, uh, what do you call it, our wireless router went down too. Uh, so I got to pick a new one up because uh, that is something that does not include with it. I have to have my own. So I did my personal hotspot and we are back in line with our, uh, with our, uh, whatever you call it, our tablet. <laughs> so I can listen to my music here in my pocket. And here it is. <laughs> Actually, it was actually only 10 brick all orders. One person had an extra part added to another to make a se separate order and a separate payment. It's really weird. But whatever. Um, and 19 brick link orders since Saturday morning. Crazy. That's all ready. So now I have my cart ready. I'm going to get the first one pulled up. Brick owl first. These are in the order that they came in. The the latest order, the one from Saturday morning, whatever first came, came in, and it goes in order each way. This is the first BrickLink order that was received since I last shipped out, and it goes up that way, and so on. So then I always check the name under here, that's under here, and with the order uh, before I start pulling it, too. Make sure I'm on the right one. So that's this, the process, and here we go. We got a time check before we start pulling. I'll say 7 a.m. started. There's over 500 lots between Brick Owl and Brick Linkle. We'll see how long it takes the Brick Owl first, which 
I can give you that lot number right now, 188, 851, so let's go. First out order, it's packed up, it's a bigger one. It was, uh, where are the numbers? Oh, it's 33 items, 107, or 33 lots, 173 items. All right, just over one hour has gone by. All the brick owl orders are packed up. I did get one more, three lots that's ready. I don't have a label for it, so it's sitting there. So I know the name that doesn't show up, it's probably that one. I, I wrote it on the business card too. So we that's about, what, 20, 30, 33% of what I have to do. <laughs> There's like 325 lots in all this. So I'm gonna take breakfast now. <laughs> And then we'll tackle that. All right, we are back for the brick link orders. First one up, one item, Bionicle mask. Good price. And there it is. And I brought some. I brought some reinforcements. Chocolate peanut butter, water, and more coffee. All right, I just packed up the largest order. Uh, medium flat rate box there. I forgot to video it when I was done, but I Instagrammed it. I'm like, oh, I'll put it on Instagram, then I forget to record it for YouTube. There it is. 30 lots, 1,643 pieces. Alright, we're just, just past the halfway point on Bricklink. That's what we have left. Here we go. Hope we get it done a little after 11, 11 20. Shipped out and everything. Well, this is by far my most favorite order of this uh, massive ordering that took place in my store. Only 12 lots, 125 items. Took me like three minutes to pull all this. Awesome. All right, we have an order here. Like the vlogs, I was excited to see you had the Vitruvian Man torsos. Thanks, well, I didn't know the name of them, I've never thought to look it up, or it might be in the description, I don't know. But there it is, got two of them. Thanks so much for the order again. I recognize the name. So, there it is, going out. Well, my hotspot decided not to work anymore for some reason, so I'm back to the iPhone to finish off the last one, two, six more orders. We're good. Well, this was the last Bricklink order. We got one more that came in, like 20 some lots, so I'm gonna pull that, so we're gonna up our time to 11.30. It's 10.44 uh, now, I gotta get moving. All right, here's the mess. The madness of mess, whatever. Got away a few. Uh, that one's already ready to go in the box. It's 10.50. I'm giving myself 40 minutes to get labels and everything. It's, it, says, it seems like a long time, but it probably will take that time. <laughs> we have somebody helping out today, making remaking uh, eBay figures. Yes. So, let's get to it. I got those two. That that last one in Bricklink wasn't actually paid for. I pulled it anyway. Sometimes I do it, it was just 20, it was very little lots, or 24 lots, but in very little pieces, like one of each, so. And then that one is paid for Brick Owl. Well, I've never had this happen in uh, <laughs> Bricklink before. Or, this is PayPal. I have 31 orders to ship. I only can do 30 at a time, so I gotta take one off and print it separate. All right, so I, I just calculated Brick Owl and Bricklink. I received $68 for shipping. And this one I paid plus another, I think it's 278 will be, so we'll say 106. Um, so I did, well, I, I did 105 here, so one, we'll say negative $38 I am on shipping for 30, is it 30 orders? Maybe it's, well it's 31. I end up getting 31 total, so. <laughs> Paying just over a dollar myself for each order to ship. I don't think that's, that's, I mean, some people are like, you're losing money, you're losing money. It's just, it's, it is the, you know, if you're being very technical about it, yes, you're losing money, but no, you are getting more sales. Because um, many of these people that purchased from my store took advantage of it, so, of the free shipping. I guess, um, if we do $3.33, 11 orders paid shipping on Bricklink. All the orders on Brick Owl actually paid shipping, so. I don't, they don't offer the free shipping thing that you can actually do, I guess. So 20 out of 20 orders, 9 of them are free. 
All right, I won't make my quota of 11.30. Um, got all the shipping labels printed. Huge difference between eBay and BrickLink. Took me 30 minutes to get all this done, all the tracking numbers uploaded to each order. So five minutes, less than five minutes to have it all printed for eBay. So, and it's it was 45 orders for eBay and 30 some here. So huge, huge difference in time. All right, took 20 extra minutes than I than I expected, but we are good to go. Good to go. Yeah, let's check this. So I got all those rebuilt for me, and I do not have very many, and I know a lot of these, like Davy Jones, I don't even have probably at least seven or eight of these that I just gotta put away. I can't rebuild, so that shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna do that here after I, there's a rodent outside I have to take care of on our feeder. And then um, get to that, and then break for lunch, and then head out. All right, let's assess the damage from all those uh, orders. <laughs> 8,915 lots. I think we were up to 9,200 somewhere, maybe, I think. I don't know. Oh boy, I'm down like 10,000 parts since my high uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, that's what you do it for. You sell them to make money, right? So, we just hit 3,300 orders too. Wow, very, very cool. And on eBay here, we got down to 1,122. That went way down, so. I do have quite a few. I easily get it to 1150, I think, today. Um, and I did not photograph it last week because I just didn't seem to have a lot. So this week I'll definitely be doing photographs by the end of the week and getting those up. So All right, finally, 134 on Monday. This is what we rebuilt for the eBay store. And uh, there was uh, there's a lot that were new, so there wasn't too many I had to put away. I think I put away nine total cards and there was a bunch that I had I need parts for so there's that and then I'm going to relist those that should take less than 15 minutes 10 12 minutes then I'm going to take care of the rest of this and probably be done for the day I'm headed out to take the mail and got to pick up a wireless router hopefully that gets resolved soon all right just relisted what I could oh 1156 nice and I have two brick link orders one is a pretty big one that just came today uh, and a couple other packages I'll be opening later in this video or the next one or a separate video. We'll see. So Bricklink has this listed as a violin case. I don't think it would hurt to add violin slash guitar case because to me the size of it is a guitar case. Violins are pretty small. Alright, we cleared that out. So thanks again for the free gift. Uh, what we did with all, we had six chocolate bunnies in there, and we had we had extra ears, so I put those on BrickLink. Uh, this is all the stuff I put on BrickLink, plus other stuff that I already had a spot. This is basically all the new stuff I didn't already have. So everything else I already had for sale in my store is added to the quantity. So we had four here that I think I'm going to put in my convention stuff for now. Because from the duffel bag, uh, and I bought some other stuff, I already have four in here already for, for eBay. And then I did three... Of these and three of these for eBay. So those are going in there. These will go in my um, yeah, my priced the ones I'm gonna put prices on. With these ones. And there you go. So um, and, I, and I saved one here. And I put the pink elephant girl back there too. That's the other one, so. I thought they, they go well with this lineup. Eventually it's going to be full, I'm going to do it over here too, so looking good. Oh, and here's the mail I was talking about. Tucked away in a corner so I don't see it. <laughs> um, thinking uh, it's close to 900 maybe it's eight, oh, just over 800 eight or nine hundred dollars worth of stuff in these packages. <laughs> so one BrickLink order is a hundred and 20, I think so the other stuff so it's 120 and 50 and then that's 200 and that's almost 600 so yeah over 900 all right now it's uh, 10 minutes to 2:30, so I'm gonna do my brick packer sinking here from everything I've added to brick um, bricklink today 
There's a lot of items from that duffel bag that are not syncing up with Brick Owl because the Brick Owl ID is different or they're not even in Brick Owl. So that's why I have this. I gotta go through and ignore some of these so that stops telling me I have to do it. Um, that is something that you have to do. I have a whole list of ignored items on here where I can go through and, and unignore them if ever, I ever want to. Um, and this doesn't mean anything, it's just price differences. It doesn't matter. It's just, this is what we're looking at. Only listed on Bricklink and have not been paired to Brick Owl, so I'm going to list them to Brick Owl. And then right now it's, um, you can see it's uh, pulling my inventory, seeing what's what's wrong. Down here it'll have some differences for quantities and stuff like that too. Oh, well, I think we fixed our Wi-Fi problem. It recognized it right away. The other one would just not recognize anything, so 50 bucks. All right, Monday night, project time. Or it's over. <laughs> Spent about just over an hour. Uh, everything I got on Saturday from the person that sold me that tumbler, awesome set there, totally, it's, it's amazing. Um, and this was full of bricks and pieces. So un underneath this is like just the wheels and some larger, uh, larger plates like this that don't fit in here. Um, I originally started sorting the bricks in here, then they were just, they weren't going to fit. <laughs> just like, this is the one by one bricks and one by two bricks together. Um, so I'm going to sort these into my other stuff, my used sorting over there. Uh, not everything, obviously, the the one-offs, I'll definitely take these out. I'm going to try to identify what set these are from, uh, with along with the, these pieces. Uh, there might be some expensive pieces. I never see these red windows. Um, and... Uh, kids are going crazy upstairs about ready for bed <laughs> um, and what other oh this this is like all the space little things um, that they don't really make any more sets as far as I know I put all those in there and some other things that I'm gonna be listing tomorrow after uh, spend about 15 minutes getting all these in the right spots over here and uh, make it look like I got some progress because I actually did some sorting I just got to put it in the right spot now all right it's Tuesday <laughs> let's check out our stats here whoa tired out eBay is not wanting to tell me what we have here I'm waiting anyway doesn't matter brick link we have one, two, three, four, we have eight orders here. And here we go. 54 lots. And that 25 lot one is already packed up from yesterday. <laughs> so there is not much. And then I have one more that's pending uh, of like four lots too. That's not showing up here. Uh, Brick Owl, we have four. That has uh, 62 lots here, so looking good. And eBay, we'll figure out. There you go, I wasn't signed in or something. But 14 on eBay. Alright, the eBay shipping is there. I have these four brick owl orders, and actually, this one's already uh, packed. Right here. So, that is ready. So we have these ones to do, and uh, where's my music, I need it, and uh, let's go. Alright, Brick Owl is down, and this looks like a lot more, but it's not, <laughs> it's more orders, but less lots. Here's the first Bricklink order, all watch parts, $3 worth. Here's the second Bricklink order. I just parted these out from that Ninjago set with General Kozu in it. Here's a Bricklink order. They said they're a fan of the channel. So thanks for the order. Appreciate it. Well, Bricklink was quite simple today. <laughs> Didn't take very long, so hopefully by 10 after I'll have all these out. Not too many labels to do. I don't think I have to weigh one, maybe two. Uh, I was just adding the tracking numbers to my orders. This is a Brick Owl order. Been watching on YouTube after receiving my first order from you in May, I think. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. So I must have got my card with this first brick out order because I see this is his second this is his second brick out order, so um I really appreciate it. Thank you. 
7-Eleven, and that means freedom done. All shipping. Shipping obviously is my least favorite part of this. <laughs> I don't know anyone that would say otherwise. Uh, it just gets tedious when you're just shipping over and over. Mondays are a big one. Um, so by the time Monday's done, I'm like, I don't want to do that for a few days, but here comes Tuesday, which thankful for the sales, but now we get to the fun stuff. I really want to open these, but I'm going to wait. All right, so Monday I got two Brooklyn quarters here. We're just going to go through one at a time and uh, see what we can do. All right, here's the first order. Barter Vault Collectibles. And uh, I came for the Cave Troll hand. I needed a right hand. And I left with the Chrome Darth Vader torso heads for 35 bucks. <laughs> it's, it's in great shape too, so very happy with that. And got a few other things, so um, I pulled my Vader. Um, then I was just checking which head he comes out with. It's that one without the white pupils, so I have quite a few of those. So put that on there. And then, I've had this for over a year. And I was didn't want to put it on for sale because I was hoping I could somehow find the parts and complete it. But I bought the parts. I bought the legs from someone in the UK that's been shipped to. Actually, they had the torso as well, so I just bought another torso for 25 bucks, Just because in the US there's hardly any for sale so that are actually decently priced. So maybe I'll put it back for sale or I might keep it to try to get another one. Not sure yet, but I have the legs coming. And then it will be complete and it will go into my uh, cabinet, my case next to or with the Cloud City Boba Fett. Excited for that. I'm not a collector, like I say, but some things I want to fill it up with really expensive Star Wars stuff. So that is definitely one of them. <laughs> um, I had the, I had the Django Fett, the old one, and it, that came with the Cloud City Boba Fett, but I sold that. And I kind of wish I'd have kept it, but I'll, I'll get another one eventually and keep it in there. That one was mint, though. That was a great one. So, Cave Troll, there he's got his hand finally. And we will uh, see what else we can do and check back. All right, here we go. This guy's missing a couple things, but close. There's Darth Vader. D didn't complete too much. Everything else is extra, but this is the, the prize here. I usually build his uh, big club that he comes with the set. I probably should. I put a chain on his head attached to the club. This is how it comes in the set. So makes it more sellable. I'm going to probably do that now. And then get on. This is a bigger order. It's quite big. All right, there it is. Pretty easily found everything really quick. I went to the instructions. Sometimes I just look at a picture, but it's been quite a while since I built this. I built it like five times in a few months. I somehow got a ton of these guys at one point. I haven't had one for a while, so it's ready to go. All right, here is this Bricklink order. I haven't pulled it up to see what the numbers are, but I got lots of uh, Chima. Uh, accessories and things like that and then lots of legs lots of heads headgear stuff lots of heads torsos so it is uh let's see what I paid 158 bucks and 70 lots 316 items so I stocked up on a lot of stuff I didn't I've been saying I should just buy what I actually need but the reality is I'll go back and buy from another store because I run out of stuff so fast. <laughs> so this is one store that has very good prices so it was easy to, to stock up on a lot of the stuff. So see we can create here. I've already relisted all those other ones there. Alright, that brick link order was awesome. I paid a lot for it to get this but you know honestly that's how it goes. I gotta put a lot of stuff away to use for use later to rebuild later. So. This is just the first um, growth from that one order that for my eBay store. So there we go. Oh, I had something I need to photograph too. Um, that one I already put them away. That one, that one, and that's it. I think there's three of them I have to photograph too. All right, I was able to rebuild four complete ones, and I think three three of them need uh, parts. So this is where we're at after all that Bricklink order and everything. 
boom love it love it so I have a lot of new labels I have to create still I didn't photograph these ones last week because there's only like four at the time or so I didn't feel like creating labels then but we have lots of goodies here to get photographed hopefully fill it up a little bit more um, so what is the schedule today um, I'm gonna go through this for a little bit this is some of the good stuff that I got off the table full of stuff last week um, that, that I want to get through. So I want to get through this. I want to get through everything in this bin and everything in here before I ever buy anything, uh, any other minifig lots on eBay. That is a goal that I might accomplish. And I'm not sure. <laughs> Sometimes some of my favorite sellers just, I just, there's just stuff I can't pass up because of the, how much you can profit off of it eventually. So, but I'm going to be working on that pretty well. And then when I got this tumbler the other day, Oh, I sort of pieces out last night. We'll go over what I found out there. Um, I'm going to make this a priority. Um, so this whole box I want to get listed for sale. These came with that. This came with that. This came with that. Um, this is a random set. This is the hand Solo Carbonite set. I'm not sure if I'm going to list that yet. Um, I want to get through all this. And then there's a couple things in the box below, like McDonald Lego toys. But what I found out in all this madness is this is pretty much the complete set here. Space Police 1 Lockup Isolation Base. It's crazy. I was like, oh, can I get an instruction book? Because old space sets, if you can complete them, usually that's a good thing. And I think most of the parts are here. Some, there's only one for sale for $49.99 for the instructions. Like, you're kidding me. On eBay, this set sells for about $75 bucks with no instructions. Just built. Just the parts um, that I saw. And I know all the figures are there. Um, there's just one piece. Oh, how did I find it? I, I looked it up. I looked this piece up, and, what, and it only came in like seven sets. And then from there, I found out what is like, what do these come in? And it comes in that set. And this is also in that set. And then there's this long um, piece in there somewhere that it's really weird. Oh, this one that is in the set so we'll get that parted out all right so how do we go through these I kind of showed a clip doing this um, like when I had all the stuff all over the table um, and what, what my process is so what I'm gonna do I have these are uh, used mini figures for sale in my birthing store and um, this is how I this is how I store them if they are more expensive or this one has metal on it I don't want it knocking around the other ones so I'll put them in bags uh, but typically they all go like this. I feel they'll fill these about halfway up, and they are in and out. So it's not like these ever get full and stay full. Um, that the I try to price things that are at the sellable price. So, and then I have some just smaller ones that are, and things I'll part out. So the first thing I did, I pulled out this big guy. He was right on the top. Put his arm on the lana list. Grabbed the three crystal five point crystals that come with it. I never I've sold them I think before, but never made a card for them. So. I will put them in there waiting to make a card and I know for sure I have these guys on my eBay store so I'm going to list those up and just kind of go through it that way. There's a nice Iron Man. Um, if, I, if I already have them on my eBay store I'm going to make a commitment and add a lot of stuff to my Brooklyn store of full minifigs because they have been selling. Uh, the more I put up I can see the more they're going. And it's not too much of a difference in price on some of them. I do price them a little bit higher typically on some of them I know that I can get a lot more on eBay just uh, you know my business model that I like if and if it doesn't ever sell on uh, Bricklink I can just pull it right off and then put it right back right on eBay so I, do, I don't mind it sitting there because there's no listing fees um, you know on, on uh, Bricklink obviously so it's not a big deal if things sit on there for literally years and then I take them when I need them it's kind of like having it having an inventory of what you what you own uh, but it is for sale um, so. We'll go through this. So the first guy up, I know I already have him for sale. I just sold him and I just relisted him for sale. Um, this is the one without without the backpack thingy. But so why do I sell it on eBay? That's what that sells for. Apparently all those were in the same set. I don't know how that. No, I just put in Bain. Okay. And um, here's this one. Used. This is what it sells for. 
uh, on BrickLink. And whenever you're going through used minifig stuff that is not yours or you're not sure where it came from, <laughs> never, never assume things are right. I mean, I, I was pretty sure the legs are wrong, and I was correct. All I did was look up Obi-Wan, looked for the old one. Um, I looked up his head that has the white pupils in it. Some have put no pupils, so then there's three examples. Um, and the next, my next step is, which one is the best one to list? Obviously, I have to add a cape and a hood to that one and not use the hair. Um, that one I can just replace the legs and it's ready. Or this one I can just replace the legs and add a cape. So, this is sold 66 times used at $5 average. This is sold 201 times used at $2.50 average. And this is sold 104 times used at $4.49 average. So, um, two, like getting two fifty dollars for it or five, I mean, this a cape, I mean, unless I have a used cape, I typically pay about $1.50 or two bucks for, for capes, so. I'm gonna probably skip the cape option and just put them up like this, put the legs on. Just cause capes are very, very valuable to me. And um, for things like um, on eBay, I need them definitely a lot. All right, so I found this Iron Man. I had to replace the legs, I had to replace the torso and the head. <laughs> so literally just the helmet and the face mask is what really made it, so. And this helmet needs it has some stuff on it. So I'll replace that too, cause I know I have more of those just in case. So, but anyway, so I did not have them for sale, but I have recently sold them back in May, and I can relist this immediately. So, that is a, that's a score right there. Good find. All right, we're cranking along. Um, what I did is I dumped this on the table, the big table, and I went through it and tried to get all the Ninjago out of here. There might be a few I missed, I don't know. Not, not a big deal if I missed a few, but I just wanna, I'm gonna focus on that and get all that done today, and then I'm free to do part outs. So that's what I'll do, and then tomorrow I'll get other themes out. <laughs> we'll see, but it's already taken a big chunk out of all this stuff. Whatever I put on here, there's some of that's not, uh, but I plan on getting this ready for eBay or parting out or put for a full minifix for sale on BrickLink. So that's 11.40 now on Tuesday. All right, now that I've got the Ninjago here, what I did next is, oops, there's one, is I um, separate everything that's a Ninjago movie, and I'm just going right down the list here in Ninjago movie. So here's the coal I just pulled out. I don't have his headgear, but I'm gonna part him. I just parted out one. I didn't see this other one here. So this is all gonna go in the same spot. Delete that one, because I don't have the head wrap, whatever. And this was in 22, which I have here. So I'm going to tear this one apart and throw that in to number 22. And then just keep going down the list. Um, I lost my list. As I see them, I'll set the back up. Um, so that's how I'm doing it. I'm here over. I think these are all the movie ones. Could be wrong on a few. Just at 1 o'clock. I was hoping to be done by now. I'm close. Got all the Ninjago done. Just got to do some of these and put a lot of stuff away. Added a lot of stuff. I definitely had a lot of many things. We'll check that final number when I'm done here. All right, we're down to the last two things here just before 1.30, and I realized that this is an extremely good head. It's in perfect condition, so I will certainly be building this. I think I have the torso. Let me look, make sure it's, it's, it's got the thing at the top. Let's look. Emperor Palpatine is here. Yep. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Fortunately, not that one. It is this one. We have it. The last one in the back. So I gotta put arms on there, get a cape and some legs, and away we go. All right, here's a look at some stuff that I got ready for uh, photographs. I think a couple of them. I uh, this one I can relist right away. This one I can, I possibly this one, I'm not sure how long I've not had them for sale, and this one. So all these need photographs for sure, um, along with all of these. These ones are ready with the labels. These ones, um, these ones don't have labels, but uh, they have the, so a lot of these need labels made for them in there. So usually one long box fits 50 to 60 if it's a uh, jam full, but there's some bigger ones in there. So I'm imagining there's at least 50 ready right there, plus these. 
Um, so we are moving. I forgot I had to go through this too. I'm going to get through this before I get up to my other table, the part out stuff. So it's, it's all right. Queen of Minifigs is the number one priority. It should be get through what I can get through and then part out light later at the end of the day. Oh, and I was just over 300 minifigs before I started. Now I'm at 337 and I parted out a number of them as well. So we added 106 lots so far today. So that is really good. Let's see, I guess get a number here. Not sure when the last time I did that is. My, my total number is way down. 8964, we're heading back up to 9,000. All right, got a few more good ones going, ready for photographs. And then uh, I'm gonna clean this up, put this all away. It's a uh, 208, August is over, halfway over. I'm gonna take a break, go shoot some baskets, get outside for a little bit, and come back, and I think I'm gonna do the bionicles. I'm gonna to try to get all these done, four of these. These are not, they do not take that long. There's really not that many parts. It's, it probably takes longer taking them all apart and organizing them. But there's not very many pieces in each one, so let's see what those will bring us. All right, first one up, just before three o'clock. Finally getting everything set up and going here. My favorite podcast rolling around the NFL. And uh, so what I do is I pull up the part out on both screens here, and I have this one on the second screen. So it tells me which drawer uh, the parts I already have in my system go into. And here I enter the quantity and add the new drawer numbers of the ones that I don't have. Things like that, so here we go. All right, there was a few pieces missing. So this first bag actually had two sets in it. It has this guy, which is this one here, and then the instructions were like all cut up in there. And then I can see this, that's how I get this other set number, 8686 was the one I just parted out. And we have not much money, so that's a nice start. And we'll pull up uh, 8944 now. All right, and that second one was a little bit. It was a small little figure, so that is now uploaded. All right, that one was great. It is uh, this guy. This, uh, these chain links are 15 to 80 cents each. That's a very good thing. It's a light-up thing. It still lights up. Or is it this right here? It's pretty sweet. So that is a good, good part out there. And next up, um, this one. All right, here's what this one looks like. And yeah, if you ever see these things, I've seen them in like the blue. There they go. <laughs> They're weird. But yeah, I don't think I've ever ended up being able to find them in the past. I don't know, like just bulk, bulk sell them in bags because. I'm not sure they're really and worth it. Oh, let's just uh, look it on here real quick. What? Five dollars? What? Uh, that might be. This is what people want for them. So, use that actually sells for three seventy three. Wow. Uh, maybe the blue ones are not as rare, but wow. Here's a bonus. This is supposed to have two in the set, unless there's a extra. It doesn't say anything, but there's three of them. All right, that one's pretty nice because of those three things. Um, we'll upload that. And moving on to the last one. And then I found two of these balls in this last bag. There's only one in that one that I actually went into, and those are like $1.50 each as well, so I gotta add those two. All right, the last one was not very much. It also had these, uh, so there's, there's supposed to be two in this set, so we're just basically missing one. There's two in each of those sets, so. That total is not including that because it already was uploaded with the other one. So there it is. Alright, it's about 10 to 4. And I dismantled this. This is pretty much the whole set. There was a buoy I already, well, it's in here just still. I already dismantled this. Pretty much the whole set. Um, so it'll be easy to part that out. Add that. And then tomorrow I'll work on this Monster Fighters little thing. I have the horse over here for some reason. We made it in with this space set. Um, so yeah, we'll get that done and keep moving. All right, that boat is parted out into there and some in there. And let's check the numbers and we close up shop for the day. 13 more dollars and 70 more lots. It's quite a few new ones too. 
So it's not many quantity for it, but it is what it is. Let's check 203 lots we added today. Spinacles had some good prices on some of that stuff. We got to 89.69, but we had huge sales so far did it whoa did it even go down lower <laughs> oh boy let me just check here yeah we had 132 and a 200 lot one